Hello, this is Mr. Stan's I'm going to take you through some of the worked problems from assignment 10A. All right, so number one, we'll do 1A here. It says when a batch of 145 paper clips was dropped onto six centimeter by six centimeter squared paper, it was observed that 113 fell in completely inside the squares and 32 fell on um, the one of the grids. Okay. So find two decimal places the experimental probability of a clip falling inside a square. So the number that fell inside the square was 113 out of a total 145. So then we will just calculate that out and see what we get. So we do 113 divided by 145. Oops, not 13, but 113 divided by 145. And that gives us 0.779, so let's round that off to 0 0.78, which is 78%, whichever, whichever one you want. Okay? All right, number three, Batool records the number of phone calls she receives over a period of consecutive days. How many days did the survey last? So here's the way I kind of want to think of it. There were two different days where they had where she had no phone calls. There were seven days where she had one, 11 where she had two, eight days where she had three, seven days where she had four, four days where she had five, three days where she had six, zero days she had seven, and one day she had eight. Okay, so these here, add all these numbers up, uh, and that should give us the total how many days the survey lasted, right? So two plus seven plus 11 plus eight plus seven plus four plus three plus zero plus one. Okay, so we'll add those all up and see what we get. Okay, so we add those all up and we get 43 days, all right? Okay, and then for part B, estimate the probability that tomorrow Batool will receive no phone calls. So that happened two out of the 43 um, total possible days. So we'll just calculate what that percent there is and we will get our answer. Two divided by, oops, 43 and we get 0 0.0465. So let's go point. Uh, 0 0.047 or 4.7% uh, chance, okay? Whichever one you want to go with, is it? either way is fine. All right, uh, let's take a look at number five. The table shows data from a survey conducted at five schools to study the rate of smoking among 15-year-old students. Estimate the probability that a randomly chosen female 15 year old student at school C is a smoker. So we're choosing just the, okay, I guess they're all 15 year olds. Let's see, uh, females. So we're just choosing the females at student, uh, sorry, at school C is a smoker. So here's our, we have 13 females at school C who are smokers. Now we gotta figure out how many total females there are at school C, right? So school C, uh, number of 15 year old females, and then there's the number of smokers. So it should just be 13 out of 49, right? So we take 13, divide by 49, and we get 0.265 or 26.5%. Either one is fine. Okay. All right. Uh, last one for this assignment in number seven. This table provides data on the daily maximum temperatures in Barcelona during summer. So we get all this stuff here. Estimate the probability that on an August day in Barcelona, the maximum temperature will be 35 degrees Celsius or higher. So, um, let's see, we are talking about, oops, 
we're talking about August here. Um, so that's just this here that we're looking at. Okay, so what's the probability? It's going to be 35 degrees or higher. So here's our 35 degrees or higher. So we will have 5.3 of those days um, will be above 35 degrees or higher. So 5.3 out of the 31 total days in August. Right, so we can calculate that out. 5.3 divided by 31, and we get 0.171, right? Or 17.1% is the probability. Okay, probability is usually left, left as a decimal, so we'll just leave it as 0.171. All right. And then number, let's see, part two here says, what's the probability that's going to be less than 30 degrees? So here's the probability 12 of those days will be more than 30 degrees. So the probability it's going to be less than 30 degrees is the rest. So we really would take, there's still 31 days. But now we're going to take those 31 days and subtract the 12 that are above 30 to figure out how many there are that are less than 30, right? So that's going to end up giving us, what, 19 out of 31. So we take 19 divided by 31, and we get 0.612, right? Uh, actually, it's 0.613 if we round it off. 0 0.613, or 61.3%. Okay. All right, um, those are the problems that were chosen to be done for the uh, work solutions. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.